guys today we wanted to bring you a different kind of video is a troubleshooting video um, so we own this double diamond deluxe slot machine by IGT and um, we've been having trouble with it as you can see when we turn the power on um, we get the flashing light on top and we get that error that 12 in the winners paid section um, but when we try to put money in the machine this is a quarter machine it does it's the old time machine that actually takes coins so we tried putting a quarter in there it just comes right back out the bottom. So it doesn't take coins. Do it again, hun, so they can see it. Just put it in, put yeah, it in the coin. Put it in the coin and just goes right back out. Um, and when you try hitting like the credit button or the spin button, nothing's happening. So we're trying to troubleshoot how to fix this. So we did a little bit of research and we found that that little number that's displayed in the winner's paid box is actually a code um, for what may be wrong with it. So we kind of wanted to walk you through what we're going to do to see if we can fix this. So here are the steps on how to disassemble and get to your battery. You have a key here. You can see that. You just pretty much turn it. There's a little lever you have to push up. That opens the machine. I don't know what any of that stuff is, but um, if you could see here, let's see. It gives you all your codes so we keep getting that 12 so that's low battery so I'm thinking it's the battery first thing that comes off is the what do you call it the, the coin tray the coin tray yeah so it just goes up and out so that's the first thing next is the hopper pretty much you just you can use this as a handle or this right here you just pull it towards you and it just lights as you can see it's on a railing so you really can't mess it up and you can see there the railing on there and we have disassembled it before and we put it back together and it started working so yeah it's not our first time doing this and with this um there's some plugs in the bottom so let me try to And I'll show you the plugs right now. This is pretty much what we're working with. See the plugs in the bottom right there? You have to line them up with the ones there. Um, I'll show you them. Hopefully y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can see that. But those are the plugs you need to align it with. That way. Oh, there's a quarter back there. <laughs> but yeah, you just have to align it with that when you put it back together. So you just pull upwards on that and then you get your CPU. No, I don't know what that is. Your motherboard. And that's what we're going to be testing. That's the battery. Yeah. So what we're going to test on first is just a regular um, AA battery. It's brand new. As you can see when we put... Um... Sliding on everywhere. This is okay. As you can see there, you're getting the 1.5 voltage. Same thing with the right there, 1.5, and that's pretty much what a AA is 1.5 voltage. So we're going to actually test it on here. So this is the positive. And then there's the negative, so going positive, negative. Oh wow, and as you could see, there's like no it's voltage. Dead, dead. It's so dead, it's not even. Let me show how you're. Yeah, so it's pretty side. much the same thing. You put nice. one positive and negative. And then you should get the reading here, <laughs> which is nothing. Nothing. This is completely dead. And as you can see, also right here too. I'll do it again right here. So you do positive, and boom, uh, yeah, you get a signal, 1.5. And then when we go here, this is positive because there's a plus sign right there. You can see. Right there on the board. Go here. I'm coming from this angle, hit it here, 
nothing. Mm -hmm. Completely drained. And look, it shows how I was reading it, see? Yeah. Yeah, so nothing. This is the first time I ever tried to desolder and solder something together. So if it's your first time, don't be intimidated. All you need to do is warm up the solder, and once it's hot enough, you should be able to pull out the battery. The solder itself actually cools down really quick, so make sure the connection to the battery is not touching the solder. Got the right polarities. Okay, now that we finally assembled the new battery, make sure, like I said, get the polarities right. It'll show you on there. Um, but pretty much just, oh, don't crash in here. Get it seated properly and then you'll feel You'll feel it clicking. That's when you know it's actually in there. You turn on the switch. Here it come on. Hold the test switch. Okay, close the door, make sure it registers, turn the jackpot key once, then we'll go, Try it again, right? turn it again, there it goes, the zero, there it goes. Going to be flashing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to turn it back off. Uh, it's registered. Turn it off. And turn it back on. Showing pretty much that the door is open. Okay, so we installed the battery the last time and that didn't solve the issue. So next what we're going to do is going to clear the RAM or pretty much just reset 
the machine itself. Okay, so right now we're going to be removing the chip. Make sure you have the correct um, orientation. You see this little notch right here? Make sure you connect it or you reinstall the other one the same way because you might damage it if you don't. Um, best way to do this is just take a picture. So what you do with a little screwdriver like this, um, you just wedge your screwdriver in between it. Make sure you don't put a lot of pressure on it because you don't want to mess up the pins. That's the one thing you don't want to do. So just do it gently, you don't have to. So there you go, and that's the chip. So make sure you keep it the same way because you're gonna install it the same way. Okay, so we kind of had to work with it, manipulate the chip. Um, when it came to us, it was actually kind of um, spread out a little bit, the Sorry, pins. The pins. The pins were kind of spread out, so we had to kind of um, squeeze them a little bit. Um, but don't squeeze them too hard because then you'll bend them. So just, it'll take some time, but eventually you'll squeeze them enough to have all the pins line up. And that's what you need. So on both sides, you can see that the pins are all in. And when you do this step, do it really slowly, just in case one of the pins is not seated. You could take it out real quickly, so... Um, I'm going to be pushing it in, making sure that everything is seated. That's seated. That's seated. Making sure you don't want to damage your chip. Okay. Now that that's seated making sure that the, it's the correct way also. Making sure that little notch is there. So once you feel it, and I felt it kind of um, click into place, so I'm just kind of pushing a little bit more. So there, um, now we're going to go to the machine. So we put everything back together. You don't need to put this part out because we're not gonna be testing it right now. That's just to clear the RAM and see what kind of codes we get. So we're going to Turn it on. Everything has to be closed. Now that's going to be going counting on. up to 999. And once it counts up to 999 like that, that means it's done. We're going to leave it there for a while to make sure it's still kind of going through its process and it's doing everything, making sure we're not cutting it off when it's still installing. Um, and once you see that, the 999, then you're going to turn off the machine and remove the board. So we left it there for a while. We're going to be opening this. And we're going to turn it off. And take everything back out again. And take everything back out. Okay. Okay. So now that we saw it go through its process and it went to the 999, um, we're going to remove the RAM clear chip and install our old one back in. So again, not forcing anything. Just You could just turn the screwdriver just a little bit and you can feel it just come out. There you go. And this can be used with um, other IGT ones. So if you have another machine, you can use this chip. Okay, and then we're gonna be installing it the same way, notch to the right of you. And again, just making sure all the pins align you don't want to assume that all the pins are gonna align. You always wanna be careful and make sure everything is seated in.
now little by little just push it in till it sits that should be good can i go back and install it yes okay okay so now we're going to turn on the machine once we have our we put everything back right we put all the things back again <laughs> for the third time yeah. <laughs> So now the front di display should show 61. So press the white test button. So we had to hold down our test button to show 61 1. And now with the door closed, hit the reset key once and it should change to 65. So close the machine, hit the reset key once. 65 one, that's what you wanna see. So once you have 65 one, or if the display shows 65 three, you have to hit the reset key again because you have to get 65 one. So don't get scared if you see 65 three, you just have to hit the reset key again and it should change to 65 one. So we're going to open the door and press the white test button for a couple of seconds. After that, um, the machine should go into a real spin. We're going to open it up again. Okay. 65 one. It's gonna hold. I couldn't really zoom in to show where the test button is. Do you know? Oh. I think because there's no more errors and the insert coin button came on. I think that reset ours. Is what I'm, you know what I mean? I think it's good. Well, let's, tr let's lock it and see if we get any more codes. Okay, there. machine works. I can't believe it worked. It worked. Oh Coin accepted if you just want to pay one credit. I hope this resets your machine and actually you can um, get it working without having to pay somebody because we're kind of close to paying a technician to come out here but as you could see all right, I think it can go up to three credits, right? Yes. Three, three credits. And it is. All right. I hope this video is very helpful for y'all. Um, I'll leave the links for everything that we bought down below in the um, description. That way, if y'all need everything that I use to reset the machine, or the soldering kit or anything like that, I'll leave it down below. But other than that, thank y'all for watching and we are very, very excited that <laughs> we actually got it working. Thank y'all so much.